guys, welcome to my Christmas haul. Um, there's a couple things I'd like to talk about before I got started. Um, I'm working on the lighting situation right now. I can't really film at night because as you can tell, um, I use natural light during the day pretty much and, um, I'm just trying to figure it out right now and I have a lamp right sitting right next to my foot right now and that's why there's all the weird lighting and stuff and my throat, I've been sick, I've had the worst head cold and I just haven't been feeling very good so I'm sorry for the kind of raspiness in my voice but anyways let's get started I just want to hop right into the Christmas haul um I'm gonna start off with beauty and I just want to do a little disclaimer you know I'm very thankful for everything I got I gave I didn't just get let's get started okay these are for my cousin Maddie I got two Essie nail polishes they did a really cool thing for me they went on my pinchers and saw what I pinned and clicked on three things and ordered them online, which I think is so smart. I don't know why I didn't do that for somebody, but she got me the Essie Nail Polish and Ballet Slippers, which is a really sheer, nice pink color. It's very professional, and I really like it, and I'm probably going to put it on my toes. And then they also got me the Turquoise and Caicos. I don't know, but it's really pretty, and it looks like Tiffany Blue or something. Yeah, I think that's why I pinned it on Pinterest, because they said it was, like, Tiffany Blue. And I have it on my nails right now, and it's kind of hard to tell on the camera. It looked kind of green when I took a picture for Instagram. But, uh, ooh, I'll link my Instagram below. You can follow me on there. I think, and I'm actually thinking about making a fan page on Instagram for my YouTube video, even though I don't have three followers, but, you know. Um, but it's a very pretty color, and it takes multiple coats, but it stays on for a really long time. I had this on for, like, a full week last week. And then, oh my gosh. I finally got it. I've wanted it for so long. It smells so delicious. Oh, by the way. It's a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing, matte bronzing Powder with real cocoa. It smells like chocolate, and I got it in the milk chocolate. They have dark chocolate and milk chocolate, and I don't know. They work for me. The milk chocolate does. The dark chocolate's just way too dark because I'm scared. I have freckles and stuff, and, you know, I'm really light. But I'm wearing it right now, but you can't really tell because of the lighting. Um, er, open sesame. It smells like hot chocolate. Like, I'm, like, smell my face. And, uh, got it. It comes with a little, oh, I'm on my nail. But it comes with a little mirror and stuff, and just matte. I love it so much. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is the Precision Blending Sponge by Cynthia Rally. I got two of these in my stocking in blue and pink. And I've heard a lot about these on YouTube. And they look really cool. And the packaging is really cool. So I'm excited to use these. I got three lip products for Christmas. It's for my friend Jessie. She got me the Beauty Rush Victoria's Secret Sparkly Lip Gloss. Um, I just think everybody should have one of these. It's so good lip gloss. I don't use lip gloss all that often, but I will be using this now that I have it. And then my friend Jordan got me a watermelon lip smackers. I used to use the vanilla frosting lip smackers like my whole childhood. And then I got a new Eos because I lost two of them and I didn't have one and I'm really glad I got this. And these are probably some of my favorite beauty products that I got. I asked for this specifically. It's the Benefit Sexy Little Sewaways uh, package and it comes with a bunch of travel size things and I've been needing to try some new stuff. It comes with uh, It's Potent Eye Cream, the profession, Pore Professional, which is like their most successful product, but I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. Hula, the bronzer, Bad Gal Lash, which I tried and is such a thick brush, but I really like it. And uh, That Gal, Brightening Face Primer, Bella Bomba, which is a blush, and Sunbeam, which is gold bronze complexion highlighter. Yeah, that's probably a good way to put it. Cha Cha Tint, which is Cha 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 Tint Mango Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain. Um, Ooh La La Lift. You put that on your lids, and it really does make a difference. And then Stay Don't Stray, which is a Stay Put Primer for concealers and eyeshadows. And so, um, all that I've tried out of this, I've liked, and I know Talia Joy 18 I'll link her below now that I mentioned her. She makes really good videos, and she was on the Ellen DeGeneres show a couple times. Um, she got this for Christmas, but it's a $34, and it has a $106 value, but I really like it. My sister got me the Sonia Kashuk 
brush set, which I'm very excited about because she said she went on YouTube and a lot of people had this and raved about it. And it comes with four double sided brushes, has a uh, edge brush, I don't know, I'd probably call these bronzer blush brushes, lip liner, um, eyebrow and eyelash, concealer, I don't know what all these brushes are actually, but I'm very impressed by all of them, um, edged eyeliner brush, very nice set. Don't take my word for any of those brush names. I'm going to be moving on to fashion. This is another thing I got for my cousin Maddie and her mom Megan and Caroline and Steven. Ooh. It was a very Pinterest Christmas. I love Vineyard Vines with all my heart and I was so excited when I saw my wrapping paper. Look at this wrapping paper they got especially for me. <gasps> I love it. It's green and red and white whales and it's just so cute and I'm never throwing it away. They got me a Vineyard Vines long sleeve t-shirt, and on the front it has a pocket with the whale on it, and on the back it has a big whale, and it says Vineyard Vines right here, oh, somewhere, and long sleeve, one plain long sleeve, then one sleeve says Vineyard Vines, and it's just so cute, I'm probably going to wear this for the rest of my life, and my friend Allie, Got me my very first infinity scarf from H&M, and it's so cute, and I love the color. Um, when you roll it up, it looks like this, so it's changing from dark green to light green, and it's just a very pretty color, and it's very soft, and I love the color green because not a lot of people wear the color green, so I was very excited when I opened this. The next thing I got is this dress from Hollister that I'm probably not going to be able to wear until the summer. It's really short, and it's kind of got a sheer material to it. But it's green at the top. It's kind of like a tennis dress almost. And um, with a different material. has little Hawaiian flowers all over it. And it puffs out at the end. And I just thought it was so cute. And I'm not going to be able to wear it for a while. But it's adorable. This top is from American Eagle. And it's a sheer shirt over a nude cami. And it has glitter from here down. Ballerina like. Very pretty. I got a skirt from Gap Kids, which is kind of weird. I had to get the biggest size they, size they had. But look, I just thought it was so crazy. And to school, I had to wear it to my knee, which is kind of a downer. But I thought in the summer or on spring break, I could wear it a little bit hiked up, not too much with tights or something. It would just be adorable and be so different because I don't know about you, but I've never seen anybody with a skirt like this before. And I was like, how do you walk away from something like that? And then I got pajama shorts from Hollister. I don't have any pajamas, like, at all. I got a pajama shirt from Pink. I love baseball shirts. And so I got it in the biggest size I had. I think it's a large. So it comes down to the middle of my thighs, but so soft, and I love it. Payne also got me. I am a very nautical person, and she got me this cute little anchor necklace. And I love it so much, like... I would have picked that out in a second. My dad got me some pearl earrings because he knows I wear these all the time and I lose them all the time because they fall out. So he got me some fake pearls. The next thing I got was one of my bigger presents. Um, I got Kate Spade earrings. They came in this cute little Nordstrom box that was all tied up in a bow. And I opened the box and I saw the Kate Spade wrapping. I got so excited because I knew what it was going to be. And actually, it was a different pair than what I asked for, but I like them so much better. Eight spade studs, just her spade with little diamonds in them, and I think they're so simple and so elegant, and I love them. It's from Mod Cloth, and my sister got it for me. It is tweed, and it has a little clip right here that you twist to get on. It has gold and black chain. I thought it was so Chanel and so pretty, and the inside is pink satin. It's just gorgeous. I love everything about it except how small it is, but I can barely fit my phone in my wall in it, but that's okay. Oh my goodness gracious gosh. I saw this Mark by Mark Jacobs case in Teen Vogue, and the minute I saw it, I was like, I have to get that. I was going to save for it, but then I kind of mentioned it to my dad, and he was like, okay, you won't get it. Shh, where do I get it from? And I like showed him the website and everything. He was like, oh, I'll go to the mall, and he went to three malls, and he couldn't find it, and I felt so bad for him, I was just like, dad, don't get it for me, 
we went to Savannah after Christmas, and they have a Merc by Merc Jacobs store. I think Merc Jacobs went to SCAD. I found it, and I got so excited, and I was in the store. I was like, yes, and the girl who worked there started laughing at me. And um, I thought the bunny cases with the ears and the big puff tail on the back were just way too much. And I thought this was cute and teenish. It's perfect for kids my age, you know, but it's not tacky either. These next things weren't necessarily Christmas presents, but I got them with gift cards or gift money. I got some of my Nike dry fit monogrammed, not dry fit, running shorts. And I've been wanting to do this for a while. And this is my very first monogram. But monograms are like my favorite thing in the world, so I'm so happy to finally have one. And I thought they were so cute, and I'm going to wear them to basketball practice. I got a few other things from Mark by Mark Jacobs, because that place is not as expensive as you think. Like, I got this necklace, was $10, and it was sitting next to a $700 dress, so I don't really get that store. But it says, with love, postcard, greetings from Mark Jacobs. And like I said, it was $10, and it says Mark Jacobs on it. The chain is pretty cheap and kind of ugly, so I'm thinking about cutting off the charm and putting it on a charm bracelet. I also got a Mark by Mark Jacobs lipstick pen, so it just says Mark Jacobs on the side of it. But I don't know, I thought it was cute and I'm going to whip it out at school and be like, just kidding. I also went to Urban Outfitters and I got three things. I got a uh, comb and hair color, which I thought would be fun to do on a weekend or something because you can just wash it, wash it out. But I thought it would be the color it said on the box because I thought it looked bluish and all the box colors have the same one on it. But then I opened the box and the color is like bright, bright green and I don't want to put that in my hair. So I'm going to test it and see if it comes out like this maybe, but I hope it does. I also got some new lip balm and it's Smith's, but instead of the Rosebud Salve, it's Strawberry. Because I've had the Rosebud Salve before and I thought it was fine. It works really well, but this tastes so much better. Um, I don't know if this stuff does all that the other one does. This one just says lip balm, so it not, might, might not be for your hands and diaper rash or whatever. also got a little fox to put on my phone and it plugs in. It's a little phone charm. I saw this on the website and freaked out, but my parents don't really understand the internet, so I was just like, oh, I'm not going to make them go through the trouble to get that. I wear flip-flops literally every day in the summer, spring, and fall. The only reason I don't wear them in the winter is everybody gets mad at me because when I do... But I finally invested in a really, really, really nice pair of flip-flops, and they form to your feet. They're called rainbows, and they're not the prettiest things in the world. But if you want a good, serious, nice pair of Islander flip-flops, this is what you want. N these are great, and I'm so happy I finally have a pair. These are for my room to decorate. There are these three little mermaids that I thought would look so cute on my dresser. They're smaller versions of a piece of art that he has in his store. I got these from an art store. And so I thought they'd look so cute and antique on my dresser. This is definitely my favorite purchase. Are you ready? Boom. It's a fan that's an antique, probably from about the 40s, I'm guessing. And I just saw it. it was so cute and it works. And it makes this noise. It reminds me of when I sleep over at my grandparents and their air conditioner turns on in their really old house. But I thought it was just amazing and I couldn't pass it up. I got a yoga mat, which I'm very happy about. Moving on to my non beauté items or non-shopping items. I did a whole lot of shopping, I just realized that. I got a Lily Pulitzer pen in my very favorite pattern. I can officially say I finally own the Twisted Peppermint Candle. I've been craving this for so long. Every time I go into Bath and Body Works, I obsess over it and I finally have one. I love it. Thank you, Pops. My big present this year was four guitar lessons at Ken Stanton, and my dad got my guitar restringed. And so my mom got me the Taylor Swift Speak Now album, but it shows you how to play it on guitar. And I can't wait till I can actually do this. I've been wanting to learn how to play guitar, like, my whole life. I can't remember the last time I wasn't like, man, I can't wait to learn how to play guitar. Man, I can't wait to learn how to Thank you all for watching my video. I always want to make sure that you guys know I appreciate you taking your time out of your day to look on me, my little self, on my little YouTube channel. Go check it out if you want to, if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, let me know. Let me know what I can do better. But it's only my second video, and I'm here to learn. Again, I want to give you that little speech. You know, Christmas isn't about the presents. Christmas is about being with your family and just soaking it all in and being in the Christmas spirit. And, you know, 
everybody's in a better mood around Christmas time, and it's the best time of the year. Make sure you enjoy it, and you don't have to get new headphones or a new camera or an iPad to have a good Christmas. And I hope all y'all had a Merry Christmas or a Happy Hanukkah or Happy Kwanzaa. Just have a good time in the year and get a good start to the new year. Happy New Year!